You can go. All right. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for coming in. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for dressing out and everything else. All right, today we're going to do the bench press, okay? Bench press is basically two different moves, the concentric one and also the eccentric one, okay? The concentric one is when your muscles contract, okay? Your muscles contract. So when we're on the bench press and we're under the bar and we're here, when you bring the bar down, that's concentric because you're contracting your muscles, okay? When you push it back forward or up, that's eccentric. Okay, that's when your muscles lengthen. Okay, are there any questions about those two? So basically, you guys know them as up and down. <laughs> yes, up and down. Well, these are, the, these are the terms, scientific or physical terms for those movements, okay? Not just up and down. Okay, so it's concentric and eccentric. All right, now, concentric, you can do a bench with using concentric motion is like a negative. Okay, so when you take the bar off, if you can't do a certain weight, you can't push it up by yourself, but you might be able to bring it down and fight the gravity, you can do that. And while you're doing that, you can, it's called a negative form or a negative bench press, but it still gives you work. You're still tearing the muscle fibers and everything else, okay? All right, let's go over a uh, couple of the rules. Spotter, when do we use a spotter? Every time we do what? Every time the bar goes where? Over the, over the face or over the neck? All right, over the head or over the neck? When you're going over the head or over the neck, you have to use a spotter, just like the, just like the rules dictate, okay? We, we've been over the rules time and time and time again, okay? So make sure you're using a spotter. Weight, make sure the weight is correct on both sides. You don't want, you don't want a 35 and a five over here and then a 35 over here and no five over here because then it'll be off, okay? So make sure that you're, make, uh, you're going through and you're looking at both sides, all right? Now, also keep in mind, when you're the one that's lifting, when you're the one that's on the bench press, it's your weight, it's not your spotter's weight. So you gotta make sure that your weight is correct, okay? So before you get under the bar, make sure your, your weight is correct. Make sure you're using the correct grip. Where do we put our pinkies? Somebody? On the line. On the, on the line, what is, uh, also called the what? The rings, yes, also called the rings. Why do we do that out wide like this? What does that work? Chest. It works your chest, it works your chest. The closer you come in with your arms, the more you work your arms. The wider you go, the more you work your chest. Okay, we're not, we're not working arms today. We're working bench press, we're doing the chest today, okay? Breathe in when you go down. You breathe out when you go up. Concentric, eccentric. Breathe in when you go down, in. Exhale when you're coming up, okay? Exhale when you're coming up. Now, you guys have some sheets. Go ahead and take a look at those sheets um, and then pass them around, please and thank you. Uh, one of the sheets has, uh, has the bench press, making sure that you're doing the eccentric and the concentric. Now, when we start with the bench press, make sure we have a spotter, okay? Make sure our grips are right, and as we progress, be heavy. Um, you can just set them down right there. As we progress, make sure you're understanding that while we're doing this, that your arms are correct, your grip's correct, the weight's correct, and then you're lifting correctly. But as you're lifting correctly, make sure you're doing it safely, okay? Make sure it's safe. You gotta, be, you gotta, you, you know, you guys know safety is the, is the biggest thing in the weight room, okay? Make sure you make sure you got a spotter, make sure you're doing the right weight, but also make sure you're safe. Okay, and then as we're progressing, you can go up in your weight. Okay, now I need a I need a volunteer. Somebody, somebody. All right, let's go. On, let's come on over here. Let's come on over here so we can go ahead and, and show you guys how to do this. All right, give me a bench. Give me a guy on the bench. Give me a spotter. You guys can go ahead and sit over here. You guys. All right, so we're good, we're ready to go. We're, we've got a spotter, we're on the bench. Make sure as you're on the bench, slide down just a little bit. Make sure that your eyes are under the bar. Your eyes are under the bar because if you're too far this way on the bench, when you're benching and you're coming up, you're gonna hit under here. 
Okay, so make sure your eyes are right under the bar. Then, when you're ready to go, you coordinate with your spotter, whether you go, okay, I'm ready, or you go three, two, one, hold on just a minute, and you go three, two, one, then the spotter brings it to you. Then you start over your eyes, okay? Bring it down to your chest, and then you come back up. Let's go ahead and just do one with the, with, without any weight. Get ready, coordinate, come up, come down to your chest, touch your chest, come back up, finish over your eyes. Do it again. Finish over your eyes, good. Now rack. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you guys an opportunity to go ahead and, and put some weight on the bar. We're gonna put some weight on the bar and we're gonna get started, okay? Go ahead and let's start with the uh, uh, 45s on each side, which is 135. All right, let's get started. Make sure you're driving through your legs. Yes, make sure you're ar arched. Make sure you arch your back. Your points of emphasis on the bench should be your shoulder blades, your butt, and your two feet, okay? Your shoulder blades on the bench, your butt on the bench, and your two feet. How many points of emphasis is that? Four. That's four. Two feet, your butt, and your shoulder blades, okay? That's the four points that you should have. And as we're doing the bench, make sure we're taking it off, Make sure we're doing everything we need to do. We're communicating with our spotter. Make sure we're doing all those little things. Make sure that we're taking care of where our hands are. Why is it important for our hands to be in the same spot? Same chest, equal. What, what, what would happen if your hands were off? The, the weight would be what? It would be uneven. You'd be unbalanced. Does that make sense? So if one hand is out wide and the other one isn't, you're not gonna be able to control that weight because the weight is, is, is disproportionate, okay? So make sure, that's why we always make sure we put our pinkies on the rings because then they're equidistant between either side. Okay, are we clear? Yes, sir. Are there any questions? No, sir. All right, let's go ahead and let's do, let's do another set. So go ahead and let's get down there. You guys go ahead and start working now. Do, uh, give, me, uh, give me three sets of five. Help 
body. Make sure you're good to go. Good. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Don't touch it if you don't need it, Tommy. Yeah, that just that'll but yeah, just yeah, it's only when you need it that you go ahead and grab it. Good job. How many is that? Two? Is this on the second one? Alright, let's get let's get through it. Yep, good job. Good job, Tommy. Get done, let me know. When you're done with three, let me know. We got one more thing to do. Help me on time. Help me on time. You got eleven. We're at eleven. Also called? Um, what are we doing? Contracting or, or extending? Contracting. So what is it called? You guys stand up there. Is it ex eccentric or concentric? Concentric. 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 Yes. All right. So we're con con I'm sorry. Concentricing our our chest muscle or we're contracting it. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to help him with it. I'm going to lift it off with him. Now this is what we do when we have heavy weight. Okay, have heavy weight on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take it off and as he's going down, now is he is he breathing in or out when he's going down? In. So as he's going in down, he's gonna go down as slow as he possibly can. Okay, this is what we would call a negative. Alright? So this is kind of kind of changing it up a little bit, showing a little bit of differentiation as far as the bench press is concerned. Okay? Alright, here we go. Let me know when. Okay, now go as slow as you can. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, one more time. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, good. All right, right. All right. so are we understanding that now? So we have two different ways that we can do this. We can do it uh, uh, as a negative and, and just as a regular bench press. Now, what we can also do is we can also increase our weight. This will, like, your bench press is different from your bench press, which is different from yours, which is different from yours. So what we have to do is make sure that we're all doing it, the reps at the same time, but we're doing different weight because we want to make sure that we're gaining some, some ground as far as our strength is concerned. Now, the other ways that we can uh, show some differentiation with the, with the class is uh, instead of just the flat bench, we can do the incline bench, which is still the upper part of the chest, and then what we can also do is we can also do the dumbbell bench press, which kind of isolates your muscles as you're bench pressing. So you don't have the bar to touch. You get what I'm saying? So it's just a little bit harder, but what you start using is you start using those individual muscles that are around your chest. And then you go here, and then what you can also do is, as a dumbbell, you can, you can end uh, with it with your hands side by side like this. So when you come down, you, you ex explode here. But then when you finish, you finish here. When you finish here, you can see your chest contracting just a little bit more. And then you can also do the, uh, the incline bench as well. 
okay? Good job, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna write in our heart rate logs. So, so we're, gonna, we're gonna do the workout and then after that we're gonna do on our heart rate logs and then we're gonna have um, our sheet. I have a couple of questions on the sheet that I want you guys to answer, okay? All right, so go ahead and get started. Get that. Proxy, you good. 